How's it going guys and welcome back to Off The Grid. So, I've been doing a little bit of work off camera just with the Ford and the Bucket basically made a ring road going around what will soon be our three fields. And so I've also split up this area and it's really just a bit of a guessing game of um, how big I wanted the fields here. So this is the biggest one which is going to be a grass field then this one here is the medium sized field which I think is probably going to be wheat and then we've got a small one over here which I don't really know uh, what it's going to be just yet and the road I just kind of ended here because I don't really know what's going to happen uh, over here yet uh, but I also took the liberty of sort of cleaning up here and the road leading all the way to the farmyard as well as the farmyard so everything's a bit neater and cleaner uh, right now. So yeah, the road kind of starts here. This will still need to fill in um, for construction there. But as you can see here, the road still needs a bit of work. Uh, it's quite sloped, especially here. That is not exactly drivable, but we'll come in and fix that at a bit of a later date. And for today, I want to actually make the fields. That is my plan. And I'm hoping that plow that I bought is not going to be too big for the Ford. But we'll find out here real soon okay so yeah I don't really know what we're gonna do if the Ford can't manage this we'll probably have to buy another one we do have a smaller plow as well which is actually for the Massey but we could put it behind the Ford here but it's really tiny and um, yeah I don't think it's really ideal it'll be very 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 slow going using that okay so um let's give this a go i think let's try third gear high third gear low maybe second gear Second gear low. Okay, that seems to be kind of holding its speed. No, nope. first gear. Okay, let's go into low range and uh, see what we can do here. The flocks on. Going to third. Oh my goodness, this is struggling really badly. I mean, it's moving, but it's barely moving. Let's see if we go another gear, five kilometers an hour. Can we go into four low? Six. I think. I think that's probably as much as we'll get out of it, to be completely honest. How far do we want to take this field in? Probably just to around here, I would say. Yeah, this is right at the tractor's limit. Okay. So that will be field number one. See if we're holding four high. Yeah, this is definitely right at the the limits of what this tractor can be. Seems to be relatively happy in four high. Doing, doing six and seven kilometers an hour, which is not horrible. So this road here is obviously just going to be a little road to sort of get around. Um, so it is a small road. We're not going to be driving with massive equipment on it anytime soon. We'll get this field right up to the edge of the, the road. I 
Yeah, this is... I mean, it's going to take a little while, but... I think it's going to work. Yeah. They're going to be decent-sized fields. I think these will probably end up being our main fields moving forward anyway. Um, I want to try eventually maybe get a few more fields in uh, down towards the pond. Uh, there's some space down there. But carting equipment up and down the hill will be a bit of a problem. So I don't know if we'll actually ever do that, but it's a possibility. Right, that is field number two. And, um, yeah, last field. I wonder if we're going to get up that hill. Hmm, it's going to be interesting. Let's see. Again, we'll get up right up close to um, the road. The small field there needs a bit of tidying up, and I think we can get it a bit closer to the road to sort of maximize the space. gonna make it up here otherwise we'll have to go up and come back down and might do it come on nope not really having it drop some gears there we go lovely back up into four high Beautiful. Okay, this is actually going better than what I expected. I I genuinely thought that this tractor wasn't even going to move once we put that plow in the ground. Yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. I mean, it is like at the absolute max of um, of its limits, but. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so that is... That just about done. Yeah, it's going to take a little while to um, get all of this plowed up. Alright, so that is going to be the grass field. Nice, so I think we'll probably start at the small field. And finish that off and then we'll move on to the bigger fields. But we are definitely going to have to do this in a time lapse. Because uh, yeah, this is going to take a while. Oh my goodness, yeah, this is going to take a good while. Anyway, we will get it done. So we're going to jump into a time lapse. I'm just going to sort of straighten this off a little bit. There we go. Yeah, so we'll jump into a time lapse and we'll get this all knocked out. And then we'll come back and see uh, what we're dealing with after that. So for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy. I will return again to my 
job done and oh my goodness that took a good while uh, to do all of this but it is done now and um, yeah looking looking kind of good I think this is gonna work so we are gonna have to create a little bit of a shopping list and um, to yeah, get everything we need to actually get these fields up and running so we're gonna need a cedar and then we'll have to get seed uh, we're gonna need fertilizer and lime and then we're going to need some sort of uh, piece of equipment that can actually spread that. So we'll have to buy a spreader, probably just a small one um, that will attach to the tractor itself. I don't think we'll get a tow behind. I think that'll be too big. Um, so yeah, we'll have to get that. Uh, we'll have to get a roller. Uh, that'll take care of the rocks as well, I think. And just some small rocks coming through. But yeah, I think a roller will take care of that. And um, at some point, we'll also have to get a combine. Preferably something small, secondhand, and cheap. But, yeah, we'll have to keep an eye out for that. A uh, combine is not kind of priority right now, but, yeah, we'll have to get something eventually. So, yeah, basically, a spreader, a roller, a cedar, and eventually a combine, I think, is what we kind of need right now. But, yeah, we shall see. Anyway, let's... um. Let's take the Ford back. This thing was running absolutely at the limit. I mean, it could barely, barely cope with that um, plow there. Definitely not ideal, but it's fine. Like, we're not going to be doing this sort of a thing often. And if we do make fields again, then we'll probably be at a stage where we can afford some better equipment um, to do that with. So, yeah. I'm not too worried about it. I don't know if we'll actually make any more fields because the only place I can think of where we will maybe be able to do that is all the way down at the pond. But yeah, getting equipment up and down to work those fields, not not a great idea. It, it, it just sounds horrible, uh, carting um, equipment up and down this hill. So yeah, unless we can sort of make fields down there and have the equipment that we're gonna work and uh, those fields with just down there and we don't have to bring it up the hill at all except maybe for a tractor then um that'll be fine but otherwise yeah there's there's no real space up here at all um other than this spot here where we could make any fields so yeah it's amazing to think that this was just forest not too long ago so yeah kind of um Kind of impressive, actually. Um, yeah, I think we did a good job over there. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the farmyard because I got that all cleared up. Um, at least for the most part, I was a little bit lazy, so I didn't actually move the equipment. Um, so, yeah, there's a little bit of grass um, growing under the equipment and all, but I'll get it all cleaned up. Uh, so that is the farmyard. 
looking a lot better because it was getting pretty freaking bad. It was getting very overgrown. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I was a little bit lazy. Um, I wasn't moving any equipment. So yeah, I need to still clear up here as well. But that is absolutely fine. Um, so just very briefly, the plan for here, um, because if you look down here, that is um, a very, very high drop. And yeah, I'm, I'm not overly comfortable with that. So I want to fence this off. I want to run a fence around here. But to do that, we need to figure out exactly where we want to put the sheds. Uh, so I was kind of thinking, maybe we could put a shed there, if it's sort of a, a shed that's kind of wide but not very deep. And then the same thing over here, sort of in between that tree and that hill there, because there's a bit of space um, before you get the drop off here. And that'll still leave a lot of room um, to get through here. So yeah, that was kind of my initial plan, is to put a shed in there and possibly one over here. But, um, I mean, I guess we can put one over here as well. The only thing is I don't want to I don't want to take away from the view. So if I do put sheds up, maybe we can put a small one in here. Um, in that gap, there's actually kind of a natural gap there. So maybe we can fit a nice shed in there. Maybe just have one there and sort of a bigger one there. And if we really have to, uh, we can put another sort of wide but narrow. Um, that makes no sense. It's basically wide but not deep. Um... Over here as well, we could do that um, because we're going to be buying bags of um, fertilizers and seeds and lime and stuff like that. I want to sort of keep it in a shed, keep it nice and dry um, and also have a place for the bales to be stacked. So that is the plan for over here. So we'll have to figure out um, exactly what we're going to do there. But for now, the priority is the fields. I want to get that up and running, uh, get it all seeded and ready to go fertilized and limed and all of that good stuff. And um, as soon as that is done, then we'll start focusing on the buildings and the animals and that sort of a thing because we're going to need something to do uh, while the crops actually grow. So yeah, that is the sort of plan in a nutshell, but that is not going to happen today. Um, I think we are going to leave it there for today. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you all next time.